I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me a sign A sign Hello, this is Jake Walsh for another YouTube video. And I'm and I'm loving making videos for you guys and girls and my viewers. And I just want y'all to know that I love all of y'all and y'all matter, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. But anyway, if you like movies and music and everything movies and music related and that's your jam, then click that subscribe button. Anything would help me support this channel, I'd greatly appreciate it. I'm trying to gain 500 subscribers by by the end of December. Or January, it doesn't matter. I don't. There's no time frame or anything. But I'd greatly appreciate it if y'all subscribe. Please like this video and comment down below. Today's t nerdy topic is today I'm going to review Dirty Honey's new album, Can't Find the Breaks. It's a really good album, I think. Sorry this video was delayed, delayed, delayed. I meant to review when it first came out on November 3rd of 2023, but I never did. But the songs are really good. My favorites is, um, is of course, that song... Um, a little bit high is a really good one. Has that black crows walking sound. It's a hard walker. Including Put Out the Fire is a really good one. And of course the title track Can't Find the Breaks is really good. But for me the love ballads won. And the song um, Coming Home. The Ballad of the Sire. And of course... You make it feel. You make it all right. Song they're they're growers for me, but it's, I'm starting to like them and appreciate them because I love Mark LeBell's high pitched vocals on on the song. You make me feel all right and stuff. It sounds really good. I like his high pitched vocals in that track. And the album I think is a masterpiece. It's their best album since their 2021 album, self titled album, Dirty Honey. And it's a really great album. I think it came out last Friday. I believe it was November 3rd of 2023. It's a really great album. It has members Mark LeBell on lead vocals. John Nardo on guitar. Lead guitar, of course. J Justin Smolian on bass. Guitar. And, of course, their new member of the band, Jaden Bean on drums. And it's a and Jane Bean is a really good drum player, but I do miss Corey Coverstone in the band, but that's just me. But I do enjoy Jaden Bean's drumming on this album. He's a fantastic drummer though, and a good replacement for Corey Coverstone. I just miss Corey Coverstone a little bit, but that's just me. But I do enjoy this album. It's a masterpiece in my personal opinion. They're best the best album in 2023 in my personal opinion. And and there's still time for other albums to come out, but still it's really great album from start to finish. It has a lot of bangers on it, including a little bit high. Can't find the breaks enough, of course. Turn out, put out the fire is a really great one. Has that good, has that um, ACDC's easy top guitar riff that starts off the song, and but first it starts off. With a cappella, with, with Mark LeBell singing, Put out the fire! And then it goes into that guitar riff that sounds like ACDC or ZZ Top. It goes, na, 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 It's so fantastic. It's a great song to start the album off. But anyway, and then it goes into the other, then the second song, of course, is really good, too. It has that Aerosmith 70s sound to it, which is, um, I'm drawing a blank on what it was called. Sorry. But it's a really great song, too. I'm losing it for some reason. Why can't my word just come out right now? Jeez Louise. But anyway... This is a really great album. I would give this album a 9.5 out of 10. It's that freaking good. And I would also give this album an A+. 
It's that freaking good. So, yep, there's my thoughts on Dirty Honey. It's a perfect album. No bad songs on it. Every song is killer, no filler type album. So, there's my thoughts on this. I would greatly appreciate it if you subscribe. I appreciate y'all for subscribing, and I love all of y'all, and y'all matter. I don't know if I said that in the beginning of the video, but I believe I did. But anyway, and I'm going to be drinking some water. Drink y'all's water, people. Stay hydrated. Anyway, please follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and of course, Letterboxd. I got rid of Twitter because I don't like Twitter anymore. Sorry, but I'm sorry if you guys like Twitter. But it's not for me. Apologize. But anyway, now they changed the name to X, but I hate the name. And I'm also on Threads now, which is part of Instagram. So, um, please follow me on there. The link will be in the description, hopefully, for Threads. I'm going to try and add that on there if I remember to do that. And, ple and please check out my other videos. It would, that would be recommended to you on this video. But anyway, this is Jake Walls and Nerd Autism. So please stay nerdy. Peace. Love y'all. Be safe. Please like, share, and subscribe for more nerdy content.